Good morning, GMS. I'm Caleb. And I'm Vaughn. And welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of December 12, 2022. Students and parents, there are eight days left in the second nine weeks grading period. Please take time to look at your child's grades in power school. If you have any concerns or questions, reach out to the teacher via mail to get answers. Students, if you need to leave early for a school, school for an appointment, please send a note with them to school. Students have been made aware that they need to take the note to the front office before school starts. Ellis frozen yogurt will be, in on, will be on sale for $5 on Tuesday in the Commons area. Now let's go to the interview of the week, top trending in the GMS sports. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to have fun. Welcome to the GMS News Show Interview of the Week. I'm Jada Davis here with State Reporting Specialist Lisa Sullivan. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. Would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure. So my husband and I have been married for 34 years. We have two children and two grandchildren. Um, they are two and three years old and I absolutely adore them. I've been in working in an education setting for 25 years, but I've only been with um, Greenwood Community since September. Can you tell us what a state reporting specialist does? Sure, so um, every day uh, around all of the schools, things are happening. Um, kids are showing up for school, kids are missing school, we're taking tests, we're learning, we're growing. And the state and the federal government requires that we send all of that data um, to them on a regular basis. So my job is to sort through that data, make sure it's being reported correctly, and that the state and the federal governments have everything they need. What's one holiday tradition you're looking forward to? Christmas Eve has to be my absolute favorite. That's when all of the family comes over. Uh, my siblings and my children, my grandchildren are all at my house and we play games and we eat food and it's just a great time. What's your favorite holiday movie? My favorite holiday movie, I'm a sucker for um, Christmas Vacation. What do you like doing in your free time? My free time, I love um, spending time with my grandbabies and my family. And often, uh, my husband and I will go antiquing, find a nice place to have lunch, and just enjoy time together. Thank you for coming on our show today, Ms. Sullivan. Have a great week. You too. Hello, I'm Jackson of GMS Weather, and this is the forecast for this week. So we start on Monday. On Monday, there's a high of 43 and a low of 31. It's partly cloudy, and there's not very much wind or precipitation. On Tuesday, you have a higher chance of rain, with a 47-degree high and a 42-degree low, so it's definitely a little warmer and you have a little more precipitation and wind. On Wednesday, you have a lot of wind and a lot of precipitation. It's also a bit warmer, strangely enough. Thursday, you go back to being more sunny. You got the partly sunny. You got a high of 40. You can't really play outside that much. I would bring some like coats or jackets, but you could go outside because it's not raining or anything. Or anything. And the low is 24, so you wouldn't want to go out at night. And then Friday, it'll be back to rainy again with a 49% chance. That's really iffy. And a wind of 8 miles an hour, when it'll be maybe snowy if it does like rain. It will be snow. That's all for GMS weather. Hello, welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Eliza. And I'm Courtney. Let's get started. Number one, walrus takes a trip around, Euro around Europe, sitting on and then sinking people's boats. This walrus has been given the name Freya and is identified by her scars and small tusks. Local animal experts were thinking of taking her back home to the Arctic Circle, but when they saw that she was living and thriving where she was, they let her be. She may have been thriving, but those boats were definitely not. Number two, according to Dago News, on July 31st of 1697, a French lawyer named Jacques wrote an urgent message to remind a cousin in the Netherlands to send a relative's death certificate. Being carefully folded, or in other words, letter locked, was preventing anyone from getting into the letter to read it. Mysteriously, instead of reaching the recipient, the letter tucked away, was tucked away in a postmaster's trunk. Being nearly 300 years old, the letter was incredibly fragile, and trying to open it would could easily destroy it. Instead, of, instead scientists worked on new, the new state of the art x-ray technology to open the letter and read it virtually without actually touching the letter.
And that's all for Top Trending. Happy Holidays. Bye. Welcome, GMS, for this week's home events. Monday, December 12th, 7th grade boys basketball versus Decatur starting at 5.30 at GMS. Wednesday, December 14th, 6th grade boys basketball versus Beach Grove starting at 5 p.m. at GMS. Thursday, December 15th, 6th grade boys, boys basketball versus Indian Creek starting at 5 p.m. at GMS. Bye. Hi, I'm Addie and welcome to GMS Roll Call. Today we are asking what's at the top of your holiday wish list. My number one um, top list is an Air Xbox Series X. A cat, because I really want a cat. The thing on the top of my Christmas list is a new laptop. I would like uh, a new dog. My dog is too bad. On the top of my holiday wish list, I hope to spend a lot of time with my family. Um, the top of my Christmas wish list is probably the new iPhone. At the top of my wish list is a new pair of drumsticks. For Christmas, I want Billy Joe concert tickets. <laughs> What's on the top of my favorite Christmas list is Fortnite Battle Pass. Probably a new girlfriend. <laughs>